This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Netflix. Guys, you know the scene in the movie where like the cops are busting in, the hacker's like, oh no, and he's like trying to what, EMP his drives or something? Is that is that where the idea came from? Uh, actually, the idea came from a presentation that the Shmoo Group put on at DEF CON. They came up with their own anti-forensics challenge for destroying a hard drive in 60 seconds. Uh, their goal was to take like a 3U enclosure, you know, 3U server size, and have that render a drive forensically useless inside of 60 seconds. And uh, they failed at it pretty badly, crowdsourced it, and I decided to go ahead and take on the challenge. and present about it here, so that's where it came from. Let's cut to the chase. This right here is the Skunk Works approach. Uh, well, actually, this is Skunk Works, and then this is the result. How do you get a drive to look like that? Because I don't think any data is, um, is coming off this guy. Yeah, that was actually about 300 grams of a slightly modified version of thermite that has calcium sulfate and potassium nitrate in it, and it did a really excellent job of just targeting the hard drive and not having too much collateral damage. And basically that used to be a hard drive in perfect condition and it was inside of a specially constructed uh, 3U size drywall box made out of fire rated drywall, double thickness, about an inch and a quarter. And uh, you just have all that thermite in there and then as soon as you want to destroy the hard drive, you just initiate a self-destruct sequence. You can do it remotely from a thousand miles away and... Uh, so, so, this just, so this just sits in your rack and then when you press the button, boom. Yeah, exactly. It's now, is the drive running? You can do it with the drive running, you can do it with the drive off, either way it works. So you just run a long SATA cable to your 3U enclosure. Now, when you hit the button and it detonates, now you've got a server room full of black smoke, right? Well, the thing is you actually don't. I did a couple interesting tricks. Uh, one that I tried out initially, although it slightly violated the challenge requirements, was having a big uh, pipe leading out to fresh air. Yeah, just exterior ventilation. And the second trick that I tried a little later was using a couple steel baffles to reduce radiant heat transfer and then a HEPA filter like on a furnace. And that actually worked really well at filtering all the smoke out and preventing the data center or fire suppression from going off because the last thing you want is deadly halon, you know? <laughs> so was this the first uh, kind of uh, strategy you had to killing a drive, or how did this come to be? No, actually, I had a couple previous strategies. Uh, the Shmoo Group tried a lot of different things. A lot of them didn't pan out so well. They tried acids, smashing drives, grinding them down. I myself then tried uh, sodium hydroxide, injecting that into the drive to try and dissolve the aluminum platters because everyone knows lye and aluminum don't play well together. And that actually didn't work so well. Turns out the coating on the platters is very tough and very resistant to chemical attack. I also tried a high voltage transformer approach where I put a couple electrodes on either side of the spinning drive and just melted it with a really lot of power at a very high voltage. And that did work, but it required modifying the drive in a clean room and it also required a really lot of power, which gives a lot of practicality issues if you need to destroy a lot of drives at once. You can't replace your accounting department with a nuclear power plant. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the way, so if this were to say like be like a commercial box or something like that, how would this work? You just uh, is this a single drive for every three U's or, or how does it, how does it work? Well, I've tested my prototype actually up to four drives that each have a uh, three to 400 gram self-destruct charge on them for uh, a single 3U unit. I actually foresee if you were to make this a practical device, though, you'd want to scale up to something larger, perhaps 10 or 20U, uh, several layers of fire rated drywall and a lot more drives inside. There's a big economy of scale with this when you're shielding multiple drives and multiple charges of thermite versus just a few. That's fantastic. And of course, I guess the, the enclosure then becomes reusable. So for the next time the cops bust in the door and you need to pitch the big red oh shit button, things can melt again. Exactly. And there are a few, you know, self-destructing hard drives out there commercially, but I think the big thing that this does, A, it meets the Schmoo Group challenge, and B, it's very cheap. Uh, the enclosure that I built to melt that drive cost about 10 bucks. Wow. That is pretty fantastic, and I don't think a bit is coming off of this. No. Actually, no, I think I see a one. <laughs> or is that a zero? We're not really sure. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, your Mac, or right to your TV with your PS3, Xbox 360, or Nintendo Wii console. For a limited time, get your free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash hak5 and sign up now. 
Netflix is now available in the UK and Ireland. Our viewers over there can get the same free trial as in the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash hack5 or netflix.ie slash hack5. Time once again for the Technolist Photo of the Week. Yeah, put Trying the toys to down. Score. Put the toys down. All right, Technolist Photo of the Week. This comes from Zach, and it's awesome. So Zach and Josh of UNCC's hacking team went up to ShmooCon, and they went to this party that I just happened to be at. And they took a picture with Mr. Dan Kaminsky himself. He's breaking the internet. Yes. No, he's fixing no. it. <laughs> Dan has said, Woo! And, and he said, the wonderful snubs in the background photobombing like a boss. Oh, my God. You take, her to, like, you take her to a hacker con, especially on the East Coast where there's yingling. Where's our, Paul, where did our yingling go? That's what it was. With the new set, we don't have the yingling. What happened? Did you drink this? <laughs> <laughs> we want yingling. I know. Anyway. God. Yeah. I was so happy. Like, they came out. I went to the party and there was no yingling set out at all. It was like Corona, right? Yeah. In yeah. Bud Light or something. Bummer. And then halfway through the party, this guy comes up and he's like, da 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 Yingling, yingling, yeah, yeah. yingling, nice. and I was just staring the whole time, going, oh, I'm so excited. So I had to wait like ten minutes until it was cold, but I was basically hugging the cooler the entire Aww. time and not letting anybody around it. So sorry if you wanted the yingling. I apologize, but I was really thirsty. It was good. I'm just imagining like a gigantic yingling and you like swimming in it like a mermaid. <laughs> I don't know why. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Mm. Photoshop contest. Yeah, Send Photoshop that to feedback <laughs> at hack5.org along with your Technolos photos. You know, they could just be Photoshops. Let's just start that now. Send oh, your God. crazy Hack 5 Photoshops over to oh, feedback no. at hack5.org. And now it's time, for, of course, for oh, trivia. God, this is a very yourself. bad, bad yeah. idea. Yeah, okay. snubs with unicorn <laughs> horns, except it's really yingling. Anyway, just saying. Vampire. All right. So, trivia. Last week, IBM's Personal S System 2, released in 1987, flopped, but it did introduce several new technologies. Name three of these technologies. So, some of the ones that you could have chosen, VGA connectors, 3.5-inch floppy disk, microchannel architecture. Dude, MCA people. was wicked. Mm -hmm. I, I, wait a second. I thought I had MCA architecture on my PC XT, but now I'm getting confused because the PS2 came out after. I'm going to have to look that one up. Anyway. Hey, you know, you thought PCI was bad. <laughs> IRQs for the win. This week's question is, according to AMD, what does the abbreviation APU stand for? Answer that over at hack5.org slash trivia to win some swag. Would be mm. awesome. What do you think? Amazing pony unit. <clears throat> Ew. <laughs> 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 that sounded different in my head. <laughs> anyway, um, for the places to stock us, hack5.org slash follow, get your swag over to hackshop.com, we get USB rubber duckies with source code and other uh, fun stuff like that, hack tips every other Friday. I'm Darren Kitchen. <laughs> I'm Shannon Morris. Trust your techno lust. We'll see you next week with more Schmookon. Pony unit? I don't know. Really? Poning. Poning <laughs> unit. Pony. Poning. <laughs> Still doesn't sound good. All right. Sorry, no bloopers. Oh, that was funny. Mm -hmm.